my question to you teachers is how can you create a situation in a 45 minute period, which is obviously absurd, I mean that's the elephant in the room. How am I going to basically send a kid in 45 minutes to receive information? We know that 15 of those minutes is transportation, and then that god-awful last five minutes with somebody speaking and telling you about uh, the, the, the Glee Society and all of that kind of stuff. So basically we have a happen where this child has to basically receive this information and somehow has to negotiate the application and retention of information between that 3.30 bus, all the bullying and all the other things that go along when they go home and have to make sure that they don't get in the way of all of the responsibilities that parents have to have to keep clothes on their back. So you take parents out of the equation and then you're left with teachers and you're left with students. And basically with testing and all of that now, that's an adversarial relationship. So you have gladiators in the arena. So whereas now before it used to be solved, like I, my teaching, I got rewarded by taking that troubled child and really just shaking him into himself, finding a way. Now it's just the opposite. Now it's just the opposite. Let me get rid of this kid so my grades can go up. So suspension has become the new quarter for advancement. So you're almost taking the teacher out of the equation. We have to extend the class periods. We have to create a situation where school, where, where classroom is goal oriented so the student when they walk in the first day has ownership. What does that mean? It could be as simple as that. By the end of the semester, you're going to present this. You're going to present whatever you learn in front of so-and-so. And the third thing is that they're able to complete the entire task within the context of whatever absurd time that you're given. So between you and that child, you have to be that child's discipline surveillance. And structurally, that is one of the big differences between all three in action and most other educational programs. They must complete the task together. And I'm a collaborating artist. We need teaching artists more than we need our teachers. Because the teaching artist would means that if I give Tony an assignment, I have an artistic responsibility to make his assignment complete. I've given that to Willie, but I used to basically be the one to take all of their pieces and make, and make the uh, adaptation. 